Hello, my name is Elizabeth Stout and I am an addiction psychiatrist. I am the medical director for a 90-day inpatient dual diagnosis treatment program at the State Hospital in Pueblo, Colorado, um, run by the State of Colorado. And my co-author is Claudia Boyles. She is a licensed acupuncturist from the state of Texas. We decided to write this review article in an attempt to answer the question, why do so many people continue to use the NADA protocol in spite of what some would consider um, inconclusive evidence that it has effectiveness? I have been using this protocol in my program since 2000 and Claudia and I have trained numerous of my staff members and other people to utilize this protocol and we find it extremely helpful um, for the patients to kind of relax and de-stress while in treatment and it's utilized for many different things. So what we've done with this article is we've started with a history of how it was developed, where it came from, and then we have a really critical review of the literature that has been done and the research studies that have been done. This is starting with um, research that was done in the 1980s and uh, the, most of the research at that time seemed very promising. Then uh, it's followed by the 1990s, where there's kind of a mixed bag of studies, where some of the randomized controlled trials demonstrated some positive effect, and others demonstrated no effect compared to sham acupuncture. This is a very difficult uh, protocol to study in the Western randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial standard mainly because you, it's really difficult to blind the participant and it's impossible to blind the acupuncturist or the person providing the treatment. And also, it is, uh, uh, there's now evidence that sham acupuncture actually has some benefit. So we kind of uh, continue this review with a very critical analysis of the studies done since 2000. and, and focusing most spe specifically on the last decade, where uh, there have been more and more studies looking at the use of this protocol in more than just addiction, but in other behavioral health care situations that are related to addiction. And many of them demonstrate some very positive outcomes. In order to really establish this as truly evidence-based treatment, we need more research. And we are recommending that research continue actually using the, the NADA protocol as a tool to aid other treatments uh, and using usual control as the, as the usual treatment as the control, as opposed to using sham acupuncture. I want to finish this by actually showing two of my staff members who utilize this not only with patients but with each other to help them with stress. So Kelly, can you tell us what you're doing? Yes, I'm doing our AccuDetox, which helps with withdrawal, helps with anxiety, helps with all kinds of things. It gets us back in balance. I always tell the other clients that it's like when we're born, we don't, we're not born with anxiety and, and sleeplessness, and so it just gets us all back in balance. It's awesome. So